Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about 20 must-see museums around the world. These museums cover everything from history to modern technology and art to anthropology. Stay tuned to the end for some interesting bonus museums that have their own unique quirks. Welcome to World Wanderers. We are Alicia and Will. Come wander the world with us. First up is the Egyptian Museum and the National Museum of Egyptian Civilization in Cairo. And yes, we're cheating a bit and putting two museums into one entry, but you really do need to see both of them. Opened in 1902, the Egyptian Museum houses an extensive collection of over 120,000 items, including the treasures of Tutankhamun, statues, and everyday objects from ancient Egypt. The museum's vast and diverse collection offers a glimpse into the life, culture, and beliefs of one of history's most iconic civilizations. The National Museum of Egyptian Civilization is new and huge. It opened in 2021 and covers 5.3 million square feet. Um, now houses 22 mummies and 50,000 artifacts that should definitely be on the list of any history lover. We saw these mummies on our trip to Egypt, and as someone who is petrified of anything dead, I'm so glad I sucked it up and saw them because it was really, really cool. Yeah. Number two on our list is the Apartheid Museum, located in Johannesburg, South Africa. This powerful and poignant tribute to the country's struggle against apartheid opened in 2001. The museum guides visitors through a harrowing history of apartheid with a combination of personal stories, photographs, and artifacts. Visitors are confronted with the brutal impacts of racial classification, the resistance movements, and the ultimate triumph of democracy. The Apartheid Museum serves not only as a memorial to the victims and heroes of the apartheid era, but also the importance of the ongoing fight against inequality and injustice. The third place on our list is the Tokyo National Museum. This museum consists of a number of facilities with art and cultural artifacts from across Asia, with a special focus on ancient, medieval, and Shogunate era Japan. Originating in the late 1800s, it is the oldest museum in Japan, and its collection of over 120,000 artifacts and works of art really bring to life the rich cultural history of Japan. For number four, we'll jump over to China for one of the most interesting museums out there, the Museum of the Terracotta Warriors. What makes this museum so different is that it's built over an open archaeological digs that uncovered a life-size replica of the Qin era army. There are over 8,000 terracotta warriors and hundreds of horses and chariots all lined up and dressed out for parade. Other pits contain figures of officials and entertainers. All have stood in tribute and service at the tomb of Emperor Qin for over 2,000 years. Museums 5 and 6 are both in Beijing and some of the largest museums in the world, the Forbidden City and the National Museum of China. The Forbidden City, located in the heart of Beijing, China, is a magnificent imperial palace complex that served as home of Chinese emperors for over 500 years. It encompasses nearly a thousand buildings and covers over 180 acres. Um, the Forbidden City was the political and ceremonial center of the Chinese empire and now houses over a million pieces of Chinese cultural artifacts in a beautiful and historic setting. Nearby, the National Museum of China is the single largest museum building in the world at over 2 million square feet and around 1 million artifacts. Covering everything from the 1.7 million year old Yang Mao Man to the end of the Qing Dynasty. Together, these are an absolute must see for those interested in the rich cultural and history of China. Number seven on our list is the National Palace Museum in Taiwan. This museum is uh, controversial in China as most of the 700,000 artifacts came from the Forbidden Palace and were taken during the retreat of the Chinese nationalists at the end of China's last civil war. The artifacts and artwork displayed here are stunning and iconic, including paintings of Chinese and Mongolian emperors that are instantly recognizable. This museum brings forward the historical cultural ties between the people of Taiwan and China without negating the different paths they've chosen to walk today. For number eight, we head over to Italy for the Uffizi. Located in Florence, it is one of the most renowned art museums in the world. Housed in a historic building designed by Giorgio Vasari in the 16th century, the Uffizi showcases masterpieces by artists such as Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, Botticelli, and Raphael. The museum's vast collection spans ancient sculptures to medieval and modern works, but is particularly famed for its Italian Renaissance paintings. We were lucky enough to visit a few years ago, and I was taken aback by the massive sizes of the famous paintings that I grew up seeing in small pictures and books. 
For number nine, we head down to Rome and into the world's smallest independent state for the Vatican Museums and St. Peter's Basilica, two of the most important cultural and religious sites in the world. St. Peter's Basilica is one of the largest churches in the world and is a masterpiece of Renaissance architecture. It features works by Michelangelo, including the iconic dome and the Pieta statue. The Vatican Museums house an extensive collection of art and historical artifacts accumulated by the Roman Catholic Church over the centuries, including the renowned Sistine Chapel ceiling painted by Michelangelo. The museum offers a journey through art history from ancient Roman sculptures to Renaissance masterpieces. The first time I visited the Vatican is one of the times in our travels I was truly emotionally overwhelmed and in awe of the artistic beauty and skill on display. For number 10, we head over to Athens for the famed Acropolis and the Acropolis Museum. Visiting the Acropolis allows you to step back in time and explore the heart of ancient Athenian culture and religion. This truly iconic site is often referred to as the birthplace of democracy. And while types of democracy certainly existed before Athens, its importance can't be overstated. At the base of the hill is the Acropolis Museum. Built in 2009 over an active archaeological dig, it displays the thousands of artifacts and sculptures found on the Acropolis and is intended to be the home of the famous Parthenon marbles if they return to Greece. A visit to the Acropolis is a must for anyone interested in history, architecture, or simply experiencing one of the most legendary sites of human civilization. This was one of my very first international trips and it's one of the top reasons I fell in love with traveling. For number 11, we head up to France to visit one of the world's largest and most famous museums, the Louvre. Housed in a historic palace that dates back to the 12th century, the Louvre's vast collection spans thousands of years and includes over 35,000 works of art. Visitors can admire masterpieces such as the Mona Lisa, the Venus de Milo, and the winged victory of Samothrace. The museum's diverse collection covers everything from ancient Egyptian relics to European paintings, making it a treasure trove of human history and creativity. With its iconic glass pyramid entrance, the Louvre is an essential destination for art lovers. When I visited, most people flocked straight to the Mona Lisa, which is much smaller than I thought it would be, but there's so much more here to see. Number 12 is the Museo de Prado, located in Madrid. Founded in 1819, the museum houses over 8,000 works, including iconic paintings by Spanish masters such as Velázquez, Goya, El Greco, as well as notable pieces by artists like Bosch, Rubens, and Titian. Visitors can admire celebrated artworks like Velázquez's Las Meninas, Goya's The Third of May, 1808, and Bosch's The Garden of Earthly Delights, all in a beautiful setting. Don't miss the nearby Thyssen Bornemisza Museum and the uh, Museo Reina Sofia to complete Madrid's Golden Triangle of Art. Next up is number 13, located in St. Petersburg, Russia. Established in 1764 by Catherine the Great, the museum boasts a vast collection of over 3 million items, including masterpieces of Western European art, Russian icons, and ancient artifacts. Housed a magnificent complex of historic buildings, including the Winter Palace, the Hermitage offers visitors a chance to explore works by artists such as Rembrandt, Da Vinci, Michelangelo, and many more. With its rich history and diverse collection, the State Hermage Museum is a cultural treasure of the Russian people. Unfortunately, as Americans, I think we might be waiting a little to go visit this place, um, but we definitely want to see it someday. Number 14 is the Jewish Museum in Berlin. Opened in 2001, this museum focuses on the rich history of the Jewish people in Germany from the Middle Ages to the present. Traversing the halls of the museum is designed to make the visitor connect emotionally to the persecution of the Jewish people in Germany through both objects and architecture. While this museum does memorialize the historic persecutions, it goes beyond these and demonstrates the cultural and material contributions made by the Jewish people throughout their long history in Europe. For number 15, we're headed to London for the British Museum and Natural History Museum. The British Museum, established in 1753, is renowned for its vast collection of art and artifacts spanning centuries and civilizations. It serves as a treasure trove of human history, showcasing the achievements in everyday lives of diverse cultures from around the world, and is one of my personal favorites. The Natural History Museum is housed in a magnificent Romanesque building in South Kensington. It was historically associated with the British Museum and was founded in 1881. It's famous for its dinosaur skeletons, including the massive Diplodocus, its extensive exhibits of the natural world from minerals to mammals, and is considered number one in the world, even beating out New York's excellent Natural History Museum. 
Both museums offer visitors an unparalleled opportunity to explore and understand the world's cultural and natural wonders. For number 16, we stay in London and head over to the National Gallery. Located in Trafalgar Square, it houses one of the world's greatest collections of Western European art. Established in 1824, the museum boasts an impressive array of masterpieces by renowned artists such as Van Gogh, Monet, Leonardo da Vinci, with over 2,300 paintings spanning from the 13th to the 19th century. While smaller than many similar institutions, it is another must-see for art lovers. The Metropolitan Museum of Art and the Museum of Modern Art in New York City are two premier institutions that offer contrasting yet complementary perspectives on art. The Met, founded in 1870, is renowned for its vast collection, which spans over 5,000 years of art from across the globe, including masterpieces from ancient Egypt, European paintings, and American art. In contrast, MoMA, established in 1929, is a beacon of modern and contemporary art, focusing on groundbreaking works and movements from the early 20th century to the present. Its collection features influential pieces by artists like Picasso, Warhol, and Mondrian reflecting the evolution of artistic expression. Together, these museums provide a comprehensive view of art history from ancient to contemporary. Number 18 is truly unique collection of museums and facilities, the Smithsonian Institution. Founded in 1846, the Smithsonian includes 19 museums, 21 libraries, and a zoo, offering a vast array of exhibits that cover topics ranging from American history and culture to natural history and aerospace. One highlight is the National Museum of American History, which houses the Star Spangled Banner and the First Lady's inaugural gowns. Another standout is the National Air and Space Museum, home to the Wright Brothers' original flyer and the Apollo 11 command module. Each museum and facility within the Smithsonian network provides a unique window into a different facet of knowledge and heritage, making a treasure trove of learning and discoveries for visitors from around the world. You could make a week-long vacation to Washington, D.C. solely to visit these museums and still not see it all. We've gone very often. And the best part is most of them are free for all visitors. Number 19 is located here in our new home city of New Orleans, the World War II Museum. The National World War II Museum offers a comprehensive and immersive exploration of World War II, showcasing the conflict's impact on both the battlefield and the home front. Open in 2000, the museum features an extensive collection of artifacts, personal stories, and interactive exhibits that bring the war's history to life. Highlights include detailed exhibits on D-Day, the Pacific Theater, and the war's global influence. Through its engaging displays and multimedia presentations, the museum provides a poignant tribute to the bravery and sacrifice of those who served, making a powerful destination for understanding this pivotal period in history. Our final entry for the Global Top 20 is the National Anthropology Museum in Mexico City. Established in 1822, it houses an extensive collection of artifacts from pre-Hispanic Mesoamerica, including the iconic Aztec calendar stone and the intricate Maya sculptures. The museum's exhibit offers deep insights into the diverse cultures and histories of Mexico's indigenous peoples, showcasing everything from ancient art and ceremonial objects to historical reconstructions. Its comprehensive collections and thoughtful displays make it a perfect destination for understanding Mexico's rich cultural legacy. As promised, we have some interesting and quirky bonus museums to share. Port Lockroy Antarctic Exploration Museum is probably one of the hardest museums to get to out there. Located on the Antarctic Peninsula, this museum is a former British research station that was the first overwintering base established in Antarctica in 1944. This museum offers a sense of what life was like in the 1950s and 1960s working at a research station and also features a gift shop and the world's southernmost post office. Sending a postcard from here is a fun tradition for visitors. And for anyone who's ever been through a breakup, we have the Museum of Broken Relationships in Croatia. Founded in 2010, the museum displays artifacts donated by individuals that symbolize past relationships accompanied by personal stories and reflections. Each item offers insight into the emotional complexities of breakups and the enduring impact of love and heartache. Finally, for lovers of ramen, we have the Ramen Museum in Osaka, Japan. The Instant Ramen Museum is a fascinating tribute to the history and global impact of instant ramen. You can learn about the creative process behind instant ramen, explore its cultural significance, and even customize your own ramen flavors at the museum's hands-on My Cup of Noodles factory. Definitely a fun addition to a trip to Osaka and My Kind of Museum. 
<laughs> if you have any must-see museums for us, please let us know in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe to Wander the World with us. Safe travels.